Call forth as much as you can of love, respect, and faith. Remove the obstructing defilements and clear away all obscuration. Listen to the perfect wisdom of the gentle Buddhas, taught for the wheel of the world, for heroic spirits intended. The rivers all in this rose apple island, which caused the flowers to grow, the fruits, the herbs, and trees, they all derive from the might of the king of Nagas, from the dragon residing in Lake Anopatapta, his magical power. Just so, whatever dharmas the Jina's disciples establish, whatever they teach, whatever adroitly explain concerning the work of the holy which leads to the fullness of bliss and also the fruit of his work. It is the Tathagata's doing. For whatever the jina has taught, the guide to the Dharma, his pupils, if genuine, have well been trained in it. From direct experience derived from their training, they teach it. Their teaching stems but from the might of the Buddhas and not their own power. Thus transcending the world, she eludes our apprehension. She goes to Nirvana, but no one can say where she went to. A fire is extinguished, but where, do we ask, has it gone? Likewise, how can we find her who has found the rest of the blessed? The Bodhisattva's past, her future, and her present must elude us. Times three dimensions nowhere touch her. She is quite pure, free from conditions, unimpeded. This is the practice of wisdom the highest perfection. Wise bodhisattvas, coursing thus, reflect on non-production, and yet, while doing so, engender in themselves the greatest compassion, which is, however, free from any notion of a being. Thereby, they practice wisdom, the highest perfection. She does not stand in form, perception, or in feeling, in will or consciousness, in any of the aggregates whatsoever. In Dharma's true nature alone she stands. Then, that is her practice of wisdom, the highest perfection. Change and no change, suffering and ease, the self and not self, the lovely and repulsive. Just as one suchness in this emptiness they are, and so he takes not his stand on the fruit which he won, which is threefold, that of an arhat, a single Buddha, a Buddha fully enlightened. Those who teach Dharma and those who listen when it is being taught, those who have won the fruit of an arhat, a single Buddha, or a world savior, and the nirvana obtained by the wise and the learned, mere illusions, mere dreams. So has the Tathagata taught us. Four kinds of persons are not alarmed by this teaching sons of the jina skilled in the truths, saints unable to turn back, arhats free from defilements and taints and rid of their doubts, those whom good teachers mature are reckoned the fourth kind.
discoursing thus, the wise and learned Bodhisattva trains not for our hardship, nor on the level of the Pratekya Buddhas. In the Buddha Dharma alone he trains for the sake of perfect gnosis. No training is his training, and no one is trained in this training. <laughs> 